Hello and welcome to the northeast of England. We're here at St James's Park. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Newcastle United and they face Brentford. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And here's the Newcastle formation. Nick Pope gets the nod between the firsts. Kieran Trippier starts with Matt Target in the fullback positions. Bruno Guimaraes plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield. And the attack is led today by Alexander Isak. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Brentford. Yeah, the same formation and the same sort of game plan. So this will all be about which individuals can get the better of their opponent. This will be a tough battle. And the match begins. Throw in then for Newcastle. Guimaraes. Joel Linton. Anthony Gordon. And a poor ball. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Magnificent defending. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Guimaraes. Here's Isaac. Moving into the advanced position. Almiron. Joel Linton. It's with Joel Linton. And overcame the ball from the flank, but dealt with in the end. Johan Wiesa. And they stopped them in their tracks. Matt Target. Joel Linton. Joel Linton. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. And with that, the attack out. Mbermo. The possession lost, intercepted. Fabian Scher. And the Magpies moving the ball forward with purpose. And a useful cross. Well, no way through. Henry 
Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Possession changing hands. Almiron. Well, a chance here, perhaps, to invigorate their aerial targets. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Can someone get on the end of this? Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, racing past his man. And it's with Isaac. Now with Almiron. Trippier. On to Almiron. Takes the shot. Oh, closed down straight away. Pinnock. Hickey. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Well, I still don't know how he kept that out, Derek. It's a fantastic save to keep it all square. Nicely timed tackle. Could be. Well, what an opportunity that was. Well, that's a great chance to open the scoring. It's a poor effort in the end. Now, well, looking dangerous here. But a good piece of tidying up. Isaac. It's there for him. Oh, good work by the keeper. <laughs> and he's fired over the corner. Well, as a defender, that will suit you down to the ground. Fabian Scher. What a crucial intervention inside the box. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. An effective challenge. Teammates available. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Well, it could be on for him here. And there it is. 1-0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. ball is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be well we're at the halfway mark here at St James's Park well he's been the standout for his side so far don't you think Stuart well I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him he will have drilled it into them to keep their focus keep playing through to the half-time whistle and it certainly put them in a good position to go on and win this now
So back underway here into the second half. Can he do it? Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Can they keep it going? And it's with Isaac. On to Almiron. And struggling to get the shot off. Now well, able to close down the shot. And an astute piece of defending. Burn. Joel Linton. Another perfect position to read it. Jensen. Henry. Now options are plenty. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. The Magpies pushing forward with options available. Joel Linton. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here's the replay. And what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. So there we have it. 2 1. Jensen moving the ball nicely looking for that final pass that's excellent defending following the cross Joel Linton Isaac Joel Linton And it's with Isaac. Not out of the woods yet. Well, they can bring it out now. Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. And the cross didn't beat the first man. Substitution for Newcastle United. Coming off the box, number 10, Anthony Gordon. To be replaced by... Short corner favoured. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Joel Linton. And very deftly cut out. Christian Nurgard. Surely! And a goal! Real excitement here, the equaliser! Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Brent 
and level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Oh, nice ball. Promising sequence. Can they hit on the break? Defenders need to cover. Still pushing for a winner. And it's played into the center. It's given him something to contemplate. But I think he's going to be a bit cross with himself. Well, that should have been the winner, but he's got it all wrong. That's an easy save for the keeper. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Harvey Barnes well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Harvey Barnes. Oh, they've done it! They've forged ahead, and it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Five minutes to go. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. He has time to play is over. Is it going to be? Well, fantastic reflex action. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Opportunity it is. Well, he's given us away. Wilson. And that will be that. The final whistle here. And Newcastle fans around the world will be delighted with the outcome. What did you make of their performance? Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today, and what a big goal that was.